Good luck guys, my name is Lord Tomo, welcome again to another Sonic the Hedgehog Tire Item Collective Review. As you know, I'm Lord Tomo with the Blue State, good old Sonic the Hedgehog, stranding himself with my uh, PlayStation 3 USB cable. Why Sonic? Why? Possibly to do with the actual review that I'm about to do, simply because there's pretty much next to nothing in terms of information of what may or may not be seen about this item. Suffice to say, it is definitely an item that's adorable in all in its retrospective ways, but at the same token, there's pretty much meh to this. This is most likely going to be a bootleg item that I picked up a couple of years ago uh, during the initial stages of my collection. It was definitely a nice piece to get when I first got it and it was also one of these pieces where I kind of figured it was a bootleg. There's a few signs that would indicate that. Of course, um, if there are people who would like to confirm this isn't or this is, please let me know. But until further notice, it's probably going to be a bootleg. Sonic the Hedgehog watching me jiggy thingy. Alright, let's get to the actual thing. Now I've looked around for this item just to see if it came into it came with an original package or any sorts. I could not find any, so I'm gonna assume this is how the actual item more or less appeared. And of course, as most um bootleg items that tend to appear, they tend to obviously I'm not trying to stereotype here or be racist in any shape or conceivable way, but in most Asian stores you will probably pick up one of these items. That's not how I particularly picked this one off. I picked this back in the day in eBay. I think I picked it up for about 10 bucks. Extremely cheap. Uh, as to what it is now, I couldn't honestly say. I don't know if there's a market for bootleg items. I'm going to assume there isn't. But it's always interesting to pick up the odd item here and there. I like to pick up, you know, bootleg items of Sonic orientation simply just to compare with, uh, you know, things that are currently licensed. Kind of to think of, kind of in a way, just to highlight, you know, flaws and pros and cons and all that fun of stuff. So in terms of packaging, not entirely sure. I'm going to assume this is how it more or less arrived at the retail store. Obviously, I'm guessing like a lot of them in a box by most stores. Um, it is pretty much captures the semi basic of the. Uh, Sonic, you have obviously his eyes, you have his ears, you have his hands, you have his shoes, which are extremely chibi like, and you have a bunch of spikes at the back, and of course, you have his little speakers, which the sound does come out. Unfortunately, my one does not operate, um, so I'm not entirely sure what sort of sounds. I'm gonna assume it's generic, you know, watch like sort of alarm sounds. But uh, this obviously, if you look closely around here, you have a, like, a little button where you can basically just alter the actual hands of the actual clock itself. Now in terms of price, this does look predominantly like Sonic and it is an interesting little piece just so simply because you can have people just discuss more or less just the weirdness of this actual item. Now for those of you who may or may not have noticed, Sonic obviously has like skinnish color, kind of like a creamy like um, fleshed out kind of skin-ish, <sighs> not even really describing it well, but you can tell here that his ears are the inside are white, you have his face which is predominantly white, it is extremely fade out, now the, uh, the other ones that I have seen of this, which uh, I hope you can see it, probably not, it is extremely fade out, creamy, uh, what's that pasty creamy color, you know, best to just bring out the original, alright Sonic, see how his face is more or less that creamy -ish kind of color to it, this one obviously is white, so you can see the drastic difference. Now if you look closely, it is an extremely blended out white one, uh, every single one that I've seen is obviously it means the same, so I'm guessing it's either that's the way it was initially designed or my one over time has faded away. I'm going to assume perhaps it may be faded away. Um, his hands are pretty awkward, it kind of looks like he's been chained, so uh, chained to the actual watch itself, and it looks like he's been pregnant. He's actually extruding the clock out of his stomach. Like, oh my god, I'm giving birth to a clock. Gotta go fast. So yeah, there's that. Um, his boots are extremely well. Um, of course, they've duped the actual, you know, paint apps there, which is on either side. I don't know if they're trying to save cost there. At the very bottom, that's where you put the battery, as you can probably see. Two double A batteries. Yeah. I've tested this prior to obviously doing this review and I couldn't really think of anything much of it. And of course, like in the alarm, you have the button here which is it turns it off and turns it on. I'm going to see if I can try to fix this without actually damaging it or whatnot. Or if anybody actually has this item and it works in their perfect condition, please do like a video response or let me know. I'll definitely link your video just to, I would like to know what the sound sounds like. Of course, his eyes look weird for whatever reason. It is Sonic, but it, in a way it isn't Sonic weird shape. The clock is by far probably the most interesting and pretty much detailed item overall. 
has these typical 1 to 12, has three hands, etc, etc, and it's from Quartz, I don't know if that's the brand. That's pretty much all I can really talk about this item. I have no idea what I'm probably going to label this, I'm probably going to put this retro Sonic the Hedgehog watch clock thingy, I don't know, I'll think of something, you'll see the title anyway eventually. I um, got it for 10 bucks, I don't know how much it's worth, I'm probably going to assume this isn't like super rare, or maybe there is, I have absolutely no idea. So I'm probably going to give this maybe 2 stars out of 10, not rare, not extremely common, just, just, I don't know, it's just what it is, what it is. So where can you buy it? I bought my one off eBay, I did see this once upon a time in one of those Asian stores, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, let me know if you know any information, what's your thought on this item, it's extremely weird in my personal opinion, but hey, why not, review the good, the bad, and the weird. Now guys, thank you so much for checking out this review, and speed on.